Welcome back to Yomi Hustle everyone, the turn-based fighting game that causes pure chaos and even more chaotic replays. While looking for a new mod to check out, I saw this mod called Royalty. Now, I've seen some videos on this character before, mainly from Eminence. However, I was still really intrigued to try it out, not only because it's super popular, but it's made by Pix, who makes really good mods. So, I downloaded it and I gotta say, this is like Yomi Hustle Premium. How do you even make the characters from Undertale feel like such good fighting game characters but still get off, give off that boss fight vibe? This is so well made. My favorite aspect of this character is the pillar, meteor, and crash abilities. These cause the boxes you see with exclamation points, which will soon be where I attack. I would say this aspect makes the mod feel like the boss fight the most. I also love how not only is this move cool, it has a delay system, where you basically tell your attack when to go off in specific frames. Do you realize the potential that this has? I mean look, here's a clip of when I set up a pillar attack with delay, and comboed out of a burst. Check it out. If I burst, it'll knock him back into that crash. Good on him. That's a clean combo. So yeah, the setup potential is insane. Not to mention those three moves don't even have big windups and the frame disadvantage is like six frames. And don't be afraid to set these things up but whenever you get the chance. Whenever I'm falling from far up, I just spam these all over the place while falling because why not? Of course, I make sure the opponent isn't playing a character that excels in aerial combat. The best part is we haven't even gotten into the more unique parts of the character. Or should I say characters? This is a two-in-one character. The two characters, Asgore and Toriel, both share some moves and also have their unique, different moves. Using Figurehead allows you to swap between them with some frame cost. Asgore plays like a more heavy melee fighter, swinging his weapon around and even doing damage on ground impact similar to the robot. Toriel plays more like a ranged fighter with a lot of projectile variations and crazy setup. You can also spam the shit out of Toriel's abilities and just cause straight havoc. But wait, there's more. Upon reaching a high enough meter level, you can power up whichever character you're on. This plays a sick animation, but be careful because it can be interrupted before the screen actually goes dark. After powering up, the moves on the character you decided to power up change. For Asgore, things get quicker and stronger. The projectiles are also changed slightly and are buffed. Toriel is where shit really hits the fan. All your projectiles just go beast mode and have a sick blue flame. The spam and setup potentially literally goes 120%. But where it gets even better is when you manage to power up both characters. This is insanely hard because powering up takes a lot of meter and you need to do it twice. But if you manage to power up both characters, <clears throat> allow me to read from the description. <clears throat> When they both undergo their transformation, the prophecy of the Delta Rune will appear. The angel will return, and it shall pass judgment onto any who cross their paths. Come again? Judgment shall pass onto- Yeah, no, thank god I'm the one playing this character. Anyways, yeah, this power-up just plays sick-ass music and gives you sick-ass wings and makes you feel invincible. This mod is an easy 10 out of 10 for me and it may actually be one of my favorite mods to date. The setups, the visuals, the variety and playstyles, the music, the everything. I might be glazing, but at this point I'm, I'm willing to admit that. And now that we've covered most of the character, let's actually get into a game and hopefully bring judgment to those that oppose. <sighs> oh no, he did the jump off the bat. Could I crash to save myself maybe? It might work, unless he does the down dash like that actually. Back up a little bit, yeah, we're out of there. Not taking a chance. Who do you think I am? I don't know that risky biz. I'm gonna do this. Hit him with a slight slice of Rooney. Don't mess with me, man. You don't want to get close to me. You might be an original character, but I'm gonna still, I'm gonna still make a light work of you. Boom! Out of here. Now do it again. If I can, if I can do it again. <laughs> Old, I might not be able to do it again. Oh no, I can't do it. Ah. And then rah, and with that. Or not? Do you think he? You think he? You think he bursts here? You think he bursts? Yeah, I think yeah. No, he definitely bursts. <laughs> Boom! Oh. God, I'll be surprised if he doesn't disconnect. I'll be surprised if he doesn't disconnect. We're gonna do this. Boom. And then we're gonna hit him with a... Oh, we gotta flip this. We gotta... Oh, there we go. Do it again. Boom. We're gonna hit him with a... A, a slap. And then we're gonna hit him with a... And then we're gonna hit him with a big one right now. Boom. And then we're gonna hit him with a down. Get back down there. Bang. Off the rip. Hit him with another one. There. Boom. With that. Ooh, I don't know if I'll be able to hit him, actually. Okay, if I dash, I have enough frame advantage, I think, to hit him. If I can just close the gap a little bit, and with a little hop, and then another one, boom. And then down, bam. And with a fireball, bam. Oh, wait, I can hit him here. Bang, again, boom. Hit him with a bam. Okay, okay. I'm gonna jump up, intercept him. Question is, does he burst again? I doubt I can read two bursts in a row. We're gonna do this anyways, because if he doesn't burst, I'll just stab him down. Okay, he does burst. That's fine. That's a great start. What a what a good initial combo, dude. Hit him with the the immediate 50%. That was good. That was real good. Get back down to the ground now. I like playing 
this this character, not the other one. Uh, I forget their names all the time, but I like I like playing this one more than the other one. I like the melee aspect, but the other one's pretty good. So maybe maybe we do maybe we show some respect and play the other one for a second. Hold on, let me let me do just that. And I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is so I'm gonna hop up here and then I'm gonna swap so I can use their abilities to gain even more meter. And then I'm gonna but what I'm gonna do is because I'll have a lot of air time before I hit the ground. See how I just float down. When I swap, what I'll do is I'll start um, putting a bunch of these kind of like these attacks everywhere as this character because you can still do both as the other one so i'm going to change and as i'm gliding down i will start throwing up all those over the place now i could superpower this character but i like to do this superpower or no maybe i should go ahead actually because i know using these abilities will lower my meter so maybe we go ahead and do that i don't know if they'll be able to intercept it i don't think they will be yeah i don't think they will be let's go ahead and just superpower up this character this this character and then try and get five level meter for the next one, and then maybe we can do the super mode, even though I've already got the other guy half HP. Okay, maybe there's a- is there a move to bypass this one? That'd be kind of sick if I could do that. Um, again, I don't think- I think I'm forced to block again. Oh, they're gonna do that though. Oh, that's actually really bad. They're just gonna throw me. Yeah, that's expected. Alright, uh, we can still come back from this though, because I do fall on the ground here, which gives me invincibility frames for a moment. Because they're not on the ground yet, and the only way for them to get me up is using stomp. But I do think they're going to throw the cult traps here. We should be okay, though. Threw a sticky bomb, but it did not land on me. I think they were trying to get it to, but it did not. Okay, here comes the slide kick. Um, I know some of my moves are floating. I want to go through quickly and see if I'm able to do that. Okay. Are they just going to grab me again? I think they are. Could I jump over? I got the block. They're going to grab me again. Oh, they block too, actually. Okay, that's fine. That actually works out relatively well for us. Being close with this character is not the great. You don't want that to be the case. Sadly, I don't think I can get out of this grab here, which is extremely unfortunate. And I don't want to use an aggressive burst, because to me, that's not just that's just not really worth it. So yeah, we get grabbed there. That makes sense. I should have probably input my DI to make me go farther, but I'm going to actually burst here. Hopefully he doesn't block that. I will be very sad if he does. <laughs> okay, good. He was going to use his quick slash there. Thank God we read that. Immediately, while he's flying back, I'm going to hustle. Try and get some levels up so I can hopefully go like the, the super mode. All I have to do is reach level 5 and then switch to the other character, I think, is how it works. So we'll go ahead and get that. We'll go ahead and grab a level here. That way we're almost halfway there. Um, I don't believe they can do anything unless they stick out this attack here. Oh, damn. If they do the dive kick, that hurts, actually. Yep, there they go. At least we read that, though. Here, I should probably lower the distance. Boom! Hit him with the saw, or whatever you want to call it. That's really good. Can we do the ascending one? There we go. Perfect. Even if he bursts here, which he does, we're still at an equal frame. So I still have a good chance to attack here. Uppercut doesn't hit me, and that's one of the strongest moves on Ninja. So I think we're good to strike him down here. Hopefully he does not block that. So maybe we just throw a saw down at him to play a little safer. Okay, so he was actually going to summon there, but it's okay. We hit him anyways. Sadly, I don't think we're going to be able to follow up with that very well. I glided him. How much frames do I have? 15? Okay, I can hit him through that. Oh, I kind of messed that up, didn't I? Ah, I really did mess that up, huh? I thought there would be able to get like a, a move through. Move through the, the uh, kunai. But I guess not. Unless there's a, one I'm seeing. Okay, we'll just go back down real fast. It's okay, it's okay, we're good. Okay, whew, that could have been really bad, actually. Um, let's just go ahead and wait for them to come down here. We'll go for Ascending Sun. Hopefully they don't read the block there. I don't feel like they will. Alright, awesome. It was going really well. We might be able to get, like, the super mode off. We're already at level 3. Um, I'm gonna try and avoid wasting any meter while comboing him here. So we'll go for this one move, and then... Okay, um, I need to make sure- I still have my three air options, so hitting him here is okay. Because I'll be able to dash right back at him. Uh, I think if I cut my momentum, I'll go farther. I mean, I mean, reset my momentum. This is fine. I'll get closer. And then I can do this move again. That's great. Um, I want to hit him- I gotta hit him with a variety of moves here. Do I need to get closer again? I believe I do. Luckily, I have a lot more momentum, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the other side of him. Like this, and then I'll hit him with a different move. I think I can. So I need to. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll hit him again, and then I'll try and position myself so I can kind of down slam him. Though my momentum doesn't really favor that, actually. And there's. I don't really want to end up using one of these. Maybe I should, though, just to keep the. There we go. 
position another blast above him. That'll hit him. Perfect. Maybe throw another saw up there. Would that hit him as well? Yeah, it would. Awesome. DI inputs down. Uh, we're getting close to the ground again. Could I set up another attack to kind of get him? Let me set that delay a little longer. Perfect. And we'll do that. Awesome. Okay, now we'll go down and we will try and uh, hopefully get a hustle off before he can get all the way down here. That would be real good if we can get a hustle off real fast. I really want to get to that like uh, that super mode where you uh, empower both characters, but I think it's really hard. But I think we're close to getting it because I, I think it's level 5 for both, which makes like a total of like 10-ish meter. We're close to the ground, which means we'll be able to hustle here in a second, but I think he's going to be able to get close to the ground as well. Um, could I set up a attack to interrupt his fall, I wonder? Yeah, that will. I'm going to go ahead and hustle here while he's falling. Okay, I'm level 5. Let me swap back and see if that's true. It's not. Okay, let me swap back again. <laughs> I don't know what level I need to be to actually get the, the other ability off. I mean, that's what we're going to go for as well. Um, I guess we'll just hustle again while we still have the space. I should have checked before I did all this, before I risked it, because um, I could have easily hustled there and saved more time. Okay, he's close now, but I don't believe he's actually having enough frames to hit me here. So I think if I hold my hustle, I'm actually okay. It is a little ri it's a little scary to hold your hustle that close, but I'm going to do it anyways, because I think if I hold it for just a frame longer, I get the level. Yeah, see there, I just got a bunch of meter. Now he's going to uppercut me, which makes me a little worried, because if I block, he's going to do... He blocks as well, that's fine. Is he in grab range? No, he's not. Okay, that's really good, because uh, grab would be deadly. I think a flip is a really good strat here, but he definitely has to jump on me when it comes to things like that. I wish there was a better way to get out of that. I'm just going to try this. I think he hits me there, but I think other situations he doesn't. No, he does. I'm just going to block. Again, that's fine. Better than getting hit. Better than getting hit. I'm going to... What's a move I could use that would generate a little bit more meter for me to be able to get that one move off? Let's just back up a little bit. Or here, let's just wait for a second. Yeah, to see him do that. And maybe with a little bit of advantage we have in his way. It'd be a little hard for him to dodge and get around. I'll be a little bit of a friend advantage, but I'm willing to take I'm willing to take that risk. I don't know if level six is it or I need to be level seven. They're really trying to find a way to get around it, aren't they? Yeah, they're just gonna jump. That's fine. I don't think they can hit me before I can get my ability to move again. Okay, well, now I can hit them because they can't do anything about that. I'm going to hit him with this move here because I haven't hit him yet. Does that mean I can switch successfully? Is it worth risking the combo? Maybe I should give myself more of a frame advantage before I do that. But what would give me the most here? This gives me 28. I'll do that. Swap back. That's still not enough. That's really unfortunate. I don't know the level, the meter amount. I'm going to just get up here real fast. Um, that's not good at all. I'm going to wait. I'm going to block. There we go. That's a good block. Okay. I don't know if I have enough frames to attack. Wait, I do if I do this. We'll hit them with the down. That'll give us level 7. Still can't do it. I might have to be grounded to be able to get that attack off. I don't want to waste my meter on that one either. I can do it. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. I still gotta be careful though. Uh, yo, this music's really loud. I'm sorry if you can't hear me. There we go. Boom! There we go. Oh, I don't want to get him on the ground there. What's a cool finishing move? Boom!
a game. I kind of wish the enemy survived longer there at the end so we could see more of that sick ass transformation, but I'm glad we got to activate it in the first place. That's all for the video, you guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Peace.